Uh, we're here at the uh, 61810 burial grounds where we're wrapping up our non-intrusive characterization activities. Uh, this burial ground was used uh, primarily to dispose of waste from the 300 area. Uh, the majority of the waste is uh, from buildings 325, 327. The vertical pipe units uh, consist of five uh, drums that were tack welded together, open at the top and open at the bottom. Um, these activities are being conducted because the records and information that went into these burial grounds is little known. The activity began by grubbing the area where the vertical pipe units are known to be located and then we did a location of the vertical pipe units to determine how many and where they were in order to uh, follow up with the uh, cone penetrometer installation activities that followed. Uh, once we completed the uh, location of that driving the cone penetrometers we characterized the vertical pipe units using uh, four locations adjacent the vertical pipe units to uh, determine the characteristics of what's contained within the vertical pipe units. We've also characterized uh, the trenches. Uh, we had 100 uh, cone penetrometers installed in the trenches to determine what was located there as well. Uh, and as I mentioned, these activities are wrapping up this week. Part of the activity also involved uh, soil sampling, the soil adjacent to vertical pipe units. And we sampled uh, 10 areas uh, adjacent to vertical pipe units. And the objective of that was to determine if we had any soil contamination uh, that uh, would pick up anything that could have leached out from the uh, vertical pipe units. The data that we have, uh, there'll be a characterization report that will be prepared that provides the analysis of the data that will allow us to then determine uh, how we're going to plan to remediate the uh, vertical pipe units.